Hi, it's Donna from Simple Online Solutions and I have with me today Lee Kostianen. Now Lee has, I believe, three pages in Facebook that I know of. It's Advanced Fan Page Solutions, The Fan Page Coach and Promote My Fan Page. All three are totally different businesses and totally different solutions to help small business owners. So first of all, I'd like to welcome you here today, Lee. How are oh, I'm you? I'm very well, Donna. Thanks very much for having me on. I'm most honoured to be here today. You are more than welcome. So Lee, what I'd like you to do is to share a little bit about yourself and your background with sure. us. Sure. Okay. Well, pre-children in my other life, I was in the corporate world doing marketing, um, sales and IT, so quite a mixed bag of experience. I was working in the IT area that sort of launched me into my next phase of my journey after I had my kid. Um, so staying at home probably after about a year in when the brain starts coming back to normal, I sort of thought I need, really need to do something, either go back to work or think up some sort of business I could do and not wanting to return to the corporate world after having my kids, I decided I would fiddle around online and, and um, just came up with this idea one day that I've got these great skills that you know, surely somebody out there must need and so I decided I would approach some local businesses to do some marketing for them from my home that they have a small budget and, and I had time so I could them out at a reasonable cost. So um, I set about you know, asking a few businesses if they had any work and telling a few of the school mum friends one afternoon um, quickly got around the school that I was doing this and people were saying oh can you find me a job too can you keep your e eyes and ears open for me too and so very quickly I identified that there was this need for helping some mums to find some work they could do from home so instead of looking for work for me I spent time looking for them and uh, that really sort of came about the birth of Hire My Mum and that was an online job board for mums who were looking for work from home after a couple of years probably about two and a half years I owned that and I spent a lot of time breaking and rebuilding the site so I taught myself how to build websites and that's when I stumbled across Ed Dale and the 30 day challenge which was a 30 day challenge then now the challenge now and uh, that sort of really launched me into internet marketing it brought back and tied together my background of marketing with the IT side of things and uh, that really invigorated me to, to start learning more and more so I spent a good year and a half maybe two years head down bum up in the computer just learning as much as I could about different um, online strategies and then this thing came along called called Facebook and my sister had been saying oh it's a great thing you really should get on there and I'm like no no I'm not into that sort of stuff but I like playing games and things like that she's like no it's more than that so I finally went on to Facebook and had a look around I thought oh I do like this it's great for connecting up with school friends and all that sort of thing and then I was advising a coaching client because I was doing some business coaching and I said to her you know this business on Facebook there's really something there you might want to consider looking at that and I hung up from that call and I thought sometimes you have to take your own advice and um, that's sort of really when I decided to create the page which was promote my fan page was my very first one and I think we had about 500 fans in a two and a half hour period and that really made me think okay there really is something to this Facebook page thing and that's when I set about creating a business called Advanced Fan Page Solutions tying up my design skills that I'd learnt with my ability to write um, HTML code and uh, it was sort of all full steam ahead from there. <laughs> a couple of things I want to touch base with Ed Dale is an amazing mm. man and, and for anybody that doesn't know about the 30 day challenge slash the challenge do a search online because this guy every August isn't it Lee right. runs this session where anybody can join and he actually goes through and takes you from the research right to the very end and I think the goal was to make one dollar mm. in that period of time but to show you step by step so I've also been in the Ed Dale camp I know it's it's a great learning but the thing I laughed the most about what you said is you went this thing called Facebook mm. because I too hated Facebook <laughs> <laughs> but Lee, I just want to ask you a clear question. Promote my fan yeah. page is totally different to advanced fan page, fan page mm. solutions. And I was just wondering how you could sort of describe a little bit more about your two solutions that you've okay. got there. Okay, so the advanced fan page solutions is a page I created probably oh, six months after I'd even started making fan pages for other people. Um, and it's about my business. The purpose of that page is to showcase what I can do in terms of creating fan pages for people and also keep my clients up to date on changes to Facebook and that's the purpose of that is just to showcase my business and my brand promote my fan page though it started out as, a, as an experiment um, I'd written an ebook on how to add YouTube video to Facebook pages because at the time when I figured out how to do it there was no information around as you know today you can do a Google search and a hundred pages will come up with the same information um, and at the time so I've been doing fan pages for businesses for eight, nearly 18 months now and um, at the, the time 
time when I first started, there was no information out there. So I thought, oh, well, I'll write an ebook. Found a market. I'll, I'll make this ebook. And then I thought, well, I could do some Facebook ads. But because I don't really know a lot about PPC advertising, I decided not to um, go down that track because I could end up losing a lot of money and not making the return I expected. But then I thought, well, who's who's this ebook for? Well, it's for people who own a Facebook page. So I created a Facebook page to help people who own a Facebook page promote their business. And they came flooding in. So that was really the catalyst for that that page being built. Uh, I think we were up to like a thousand fans in a week or something. It was it was crazy. It was a um, really exciting period of time as well. We're up to seventeen and a half thousand now, and there's been lots of different strategies. But the main purpose of that page changed slightly. Of course, I no longer sell that ebook. But the purpose of promote my fan page is for me to help other people's uh, other people promote their business page. And so yeah. So, sorry, Lisa. So I was going to say from promote my fan page because really people, you've got a little a different strategy that goes on every day. Does that then in turn drive customers back to advanced fan page solutions? Do they run hand in hand or not? No, I actually don't do that. That advanced fan page solutions is a quite a different market to the people that I have on promote okay. my fan page. So like any business page, you need not only to know who your audience is but your purpose for your page. So my audience for advanced fan page solutions are more premium premium business client, um, people who, who don't want to learn how to do their own Facebook pages. They want a very high quality job done. They want the latest functions and features added in and they want their page to work very well for them plus they want the strategy that goes with it. Promote my fan page is more of your entry level business market. You could even say uh, predominantly cottage craft industries, so you, you work at home parents, photographers, so small businesses, very, very much small business owners. And uh, they're, they're doing their own marketing and they're doing their own legwork in lots of different areas. So they're, they're the ones that figure out how to create pages for themselves, regardless of the level of quality, because it's not paramount in their business. So they just need to have these functionality marketing strategies in place and they're prepared to learn how and do it themselves and promote my fan page is about helping them to not only learn some online strategies that they can apply to their Facebook marketing but also learn best practice um, which is something that I'm quite passionate about as you would know with the, the pelican and seagull story but um, <laughs> yeah so from, from, from that aspect I really try to, to um, convey to Facebook page owners the best way to, to use their marketing strategy to achieve the results that they're looking for. Right Lee now that you've talked about about the pelican <laughs> can you just please share that technique with people or, or what that was sure. all about because honestly I think you got so much traffic I, from that but even I got loads of traffic because I just did some little pictures <laughs> that, that went funny. with it and it was <laughs> okay so I coined well, actually no I, I must I must acknowledge um, I didn't coin the phrase Facebook seagull a friend of mine Lenore Miller actually told me about Facebook seagulls and basically you know she, she was saying that a Facebook seagull likes your page they crap on your wall and then they leave and basically that's you know spamming your page and I just like this term so much and when I decided to share it on the fan page coach which is my other page uh, that we haven't really talked about but um, the fan page coach was set up to position myself as an, an expert in Facebook strategy basically marketing strategy and so there that's where I share information on best practice and uh, tips and, and techniques and things like that um, and so on the, that page the fan page coach I just posted about this concept concept of Facebook seagulls and uh, the, the result was quite overwhelming and, and yourself you posted the photo <clears throat> of an angry seagull crapping on my wall and um, it really resonated with a lot of people and it was one of those moments where even for myself it was about realizing what people out there wanted to know about Facebook you know that they've got these issues they don't even necessarily know those issues exist and then they want help with them and they want people to help clarify those so from the Facebook seagull I coined the phrase Facebook pelican and Facebook Culture. and uh, the pelicans are people who are serial offenders of crapping on your wall they just leave a lot more crap behind and then the Facebook vultures are those people who don't necessarily spam your wall but every single time you put up a post they will just spam your, your um, status update with a link or try and drag people away from your page to theirs in a really you know icky kind of spammy way <clears throat> and um, you know they're that really defeating the purpose of you sharing links and trying to build your business and uh, so I did a post on 
Gardener Advanced Fan Page Solution, which is what's known as my authority blog. So that's my site where I actually do all my blogging from. And um, that, that actual blog post about the seagulls, vultures and pelicans had uh, 690 something Facebook likes to that one blog post, which is quite incredible actually. <laughs> you know, I think it's one of those things because um, a lot of people do it and it was interesting watching or reading on the fan page coach where people said, oh, I do that all the time. I just didn't realise. Yeah, and then having people you think, mess up. It yeah, was well, interesting. It was a really interesting, um, it was, well, it's been going for a few weeks now. It's, uh, the feedback and interest it generated has been quite phenomenal. Well, I do have one more picture. I just haven't <laughs> shared it yet. And, it, and I was just trying to think of a really good um, little strategy to write with it to share for you because I know you're going to love it when you see it. <laughs> So Lee, um, just getting back to our topic of discussion here, Facebook is a marketing tool. I was just wondering. I was just wondering when you first started out, what were sort of the techniques you used to increase your fan okay, page? Okay, when I first started out, I was really only working on promote my fan page, but that is the, the page where I basically try all of my new ideas on. Uh, so any strategies I'm trying there are pretty much cutting edge stuff. When I started out, I the very first thing I came up with was tagging Tuesday, and that was just simply you know a, an emulation of the follow Friday on Twitter um, but the idea everything I do on promote my fan page and this is part of the page purpose has to help promote the businesses on that page but in return generate something for me so like or fans for my page so what I do is come up with strategies that get my members to do something that includes doing something for me okay so tagging Tuesday was the first strategy I came up with and what people do there is that I get them to tag two businesses that they are already a fan of and then then a third business who they've just become a fan of through Promote My Fan Page. So that way I'm sharing the like love to my members and helping them build their fan base. But then what I get you to do or get the members to do is to then also tag Promote My Fan Page. And there's, that's a twofold purpose. So the reason for doing that is so that I also get that linkage all over Facebook. So every time they do a tag on Tuesday, I'm getting a link. But the main purpose was so that we could keep a track of it. And in the early early days we used to um, run like a bit of a pseudo competition and, and try and beat our result from the previous week and you know there was I think the last time we really did it went the last time was of course there was so many but we tagged about 1500 businesses in one day which was you know amazing result but now we're 17 and a half thousand we don't keep a track of how many there are but um, we know that at thousands of pages that we're out there tagging and helping to promote I still see that promote my fan page every yes. Tuesday on various yeah. pages and I know some people that's all they do is they tag businesses every single day and you know one particular lady that I know of I asked her did she find this was a good strategy and she said oh yes it increases my numbers but I don't think it's doing anything else on the page. Promote my fan page that is a marketing strategy that's a viral event that we have designed mm -hmm. to promote our page and, and help our fans at the same time. What I then went on to do because that was so successful I then um, developed a strategy for every day of the week and it was different for everyone so Wednesday we tried a couple of different things but one of the ones that we did was work swap Wednesday so um, members could then post onto our wall something that they needed doing and in exchange they could offer XYZ and so members could then do some sort of a bartering system on that day um, other strategies were um, you know uh, on a Friday we would do a featured fan page and things like that so there was lots of different things I tried some worked really really well and others you know kind of limped along a little bit the thing I discovered was that each time I did implement a new strategy I needed to give it a good three weeks before I gave up wasn't going great because sometimes it took that good two or three weeks to really sort of kick in and, be, and become well known um, but basically just coming up with something that married up with the letter of the day so Monday megaphone Monday which is still a big one for everyone and that's where they can just have a free shout out and stuff but what you were saying about tagging as a strategy it's a technique it's not a strategy um, there's lots of things that people do right and they do wrong and one of them is doing things with without a purpose and I'm in a harp harp on purpose all the time because you have to know why you're doing what you do otherwise you know you just have no way of being able to measure it and know if it's working for you at all uh, so that's you know, one thing I would sort of say about 
that tagging strategy. It's a technique, not a strategy. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Lee. So just before we go, I was just wondering what you can uh, share with us is the best tip that you'd like to share with the li listeners on how to increase their fan base if they're brand mm. new. Well, if you're brand new, it's a little tough, but there's a couple of things I would recommend that you do. So from a brand new page, you need to ask friends and associates to help you get your numbers up there. Um, keep in mind, you don't want random fans because they don't engage with you. So targeted quality fans are all you're looking for. So don't be trying to aim for a thousand fans if all you actually need in your business is a hundred good quality fans or clients. So understand what your target is. First, you need to work out how many clients you really need or how many customers you really need and then set about trying to achieve that. Don't just go mad thinking, I have to have a thousand, I have to have five thousand. It doesn't work that way. You can have a million fans who spend nothing with you or a hundred fans that spend ten dollars a month. Which one's going to give you more money? Easy. So don't, don't get confused about what your goal is. Make sure you, you have a goal. Ask your friends and family to help you get started. And then after that, do some of the things that I've seen you, you actually do, Donna. Um, one thing you do very well is you will put up a very um, intelligent um, question, but you will tag a couple of key people who you have obviously aligned your business with and ask for their input. And so it not only appears on those people's wall, but it gives their fans something to be involved in as well. So whenever you uh, use a tagging strategy to or tagging technique to engage somebody else's page, make it valuable. If you don't provide value to other people's pages, then you'll just get deleted. So add value. And then the third thing that's really, really important uh, is to produce content. So produce videos, photos, articles, blog posts, things like that. Because if you haven't got any content to share, there's nothing for your uh, fan base to share for you. So you want them to be doing things for you. You want them to share your information. You need to give them things that they can share with other people for you. Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Lee. We are on a tight time here because I know you have to go and pick have up your little my mummy hat on now. <laughs> I really do appreciate you taking the time to come and share with us and we look forward to connecting with you soon in Thank Facebook. Thank you very, very much. And if anyone wants to come and say hi, pop over to the fan page coach. Thank you all for listening today and I look forward to seeing you all soon at Simple Online Solutions in Facebook. Thank you.